Hello friends and hello students. My name is Ashok Sridhar. In this session, we learn the random access file in C language. So first, share my laptop screen and fix the position to here so you can watch better where my video lecture. And here, Turbo C++, I double click and take some process. And now, yes, is uh, open I'll draft file menu and taking new file. And here, write a program to write and read uh, that is a random access file so write and read random access file in c language so uh, till to now we cannot use random access so previously we can use as a starting of the position and then end of file, we can read and write the file that is known as a sequential file. But now that we can use in the text file, there are two types of text file and binary file. So first we can apply the uh, random access file in the text file. So yes, and there are three function we can use in this session. And first is a, that is a F6. So that syntax is a return type as integer and F6, six means search. So we can particular go their position. So that is our first argument file uh, string. And we can say that the long offset. So long and that is offset. And last is a position. So you have to pass. So yes, so we can first understand what is the three arguments. So first you have to know very well the return data type is a integer. So we can uh, app six means search and then first argument we can understand the argument so return type is integer and first argument is our file stream over uh, number of that uh, five pointer fp and long byte uh, that is we can pass the long offset so offset is a we can pass positive value so that uh, cursor move the forward and we can pass the negative value so that cursor move the backward. So that is a offset value pass in the uh, integer form, in long integer. And then position, there are three possible value in that is a fix and that is a first is zero. So that is a, uh, we can say that beginning of the file that is pass zero. Then one, that is a current position of that file and two means that is a end of the file. So there are three position we have to pass. Zero means beginning of the file and uh, one is current of the file and two is a end of the file. So that is a position of that we have I just write for your reference. So that is we can pass three position in that uh, function. So that is a random access first that we can use in this program. And then we can use as a second and that uh, Return data type is a long integer, and that's name is the f tail. So that is a giving the tail means you have to say something. So that is we can pass and return long integer that value, and that only pass the file string. So here we can pass the file string. So that is we can take the current position to five pointer in the file and return the value in long integer value. So that is a current position tells means uh, say that position, which uh, value is there. So integer and means that uh, integer or that uh, value means we have to pass. And that is F tell F6. And now we can use other important function and that is a rewind. So rewind return data type is void and rewind like our music we have to play and rewind. So playback like that is a rewind that function we have to use and that only pass the file stream or so that is a file stream pointer so that is we have to pass so here that is long integer f tail and here is a void return data type so that is only different otherwise both we have to pass only one argument file stream so that is a tail to that position which character or that position how uh, which character position and we can Print that character and that position using FTL and that rewind we can like in the end of file we can just pass the file pointer so that cursor take the beginning of the file so that is the meaning 
So now we can start using these three function and uh, in random access file. So now I can comment multi comment line for that uh, all three function we can use in our programming. So yes, first we can take this uh, here header file. So it is a standard input output and on your console input output. Okay, so then we can take as a void main and then we can take a first as a file stream so fp and then uh, we can take as a character so this character we have to write ch and integer at position we have to print so we can take as a three variable yes and then clear the screen and we can first open so fp we can write uh, F open, we have to know very well. You have to. So here we can write some file and then random access file we can read in. So different, not sequentially we can read in, but uh, random access we can uh, some portion skip and then read in that type of. So now that is our uh, turbo t3 and double slash and bin that folder. And we can say that. Uh, random so we can say that like r file and dot txt r means random so short and uh, we can only double uh, w not uh, wb binary file but uh, uh, simple text file first we can write and if any problem of this path so that returns a null so we can directly exit so here we can print one message so that is a file can't open and exit function we have to use so exit one so yes here we can use exit and that uh, header file is required process dot h so process dot h yes and uh, that is a using the exit function required to process dot h and now we can take a uh, first one give the message so we can say that enter uh, we can say that detail of file so here that uh, we have to give one message or enter detail of file and we can take as a while loop so while loop we can see the ch and that get chr and not equal to you have to know very well not equal to uh, end of file eof so we can already in previous uh, that uh, uh, use that file in random access file so that is uh, we can use in here so we can write yes that is a here we can write some uh, in while loop that is a in the file so yes uh, we can use as a put put c yes so that is a function we can already use in my previous video lecture so that is a two argument first our character I mean ch and then five pointer two argument so that is a write into the file and then we can close so character by character that write and close our file so that we can open again that same for reading purpose so i copy these all parts and we can re reading in random access file so write is a perfectly in our previously no any change so that is a write end of file and then we can read reading that file. So here I change the R mode and that condition is same, no change. And now we can start first print one message. So we can give as a, a reading uh, some character. Okay, and there, there uh, we can say that position. Okay, so that is a random access file. We can give some message and that first, uh, that is a opening. So that is a, in a file pointer and the array index, both index start with zero. So here we can, uh, that F tail, yes, first, yes, here our syntax is there and that is a long integer. So here we can give as an integer, you can also take as a long integer because that uh, return data type is a long integer. So here we can also take as a long integer, no problem. And you can also take as an integer. So f tail, yes, f tail we can 
first take that position. So that is the beginning of the file. So X tail, tail means uh, say something. So that position pass to P and that we can print that position. Yes, first we can print that position. So here we can take as a L uh, percentage LD long uh, that integer. Yes, and then we can print that position. And then we can use character CH. Yes, same uh, we can use and that F get C, or you can also just get C, both function valid. And we can print that character. So just pass the FPN, which character. So we can write time that is a here we can print percentage C. And before we can slash T, so that position and that character some uh, distinct and then we can print ch so first position that is a beginning of the file file is a ready mode so that is a beginning of file so first character we can read so yes i can save first this file and we can say that uh, random so random access file we can use so random but uh, not all is story so means that uh, random access file so r and here we can ram or we can say that r n d random okay random just r a d m random access file so that is it first we can say that uh, r a n d o m yes random so that is a you can say anything name but we can random access file we have to use so random dot c file is the name and now I compiled first, yes, what's one? So yes, so some, yes, here some value is correct. So process, yes, now it's complete. So that is, yes, perfectly. So we can, I run this file. So yes, here we can detail of the file. So we are students, that type of message, uh, yes and then control s so means control s we can save but here control z so saving and enter key so you can read uh, some character reading and their position so zero that is a first beginning of the position and we are students so w first that uh, we can read but that is a first character we can print and now we can use some different that is a character so print so first here we can go some different position and then print. So now we can second function and that is a very important in this session, F6. So that first we can pass as a file stream, then long offset value and then position. So position we can pass on any of one of these. So yes, now we can use that function. So yes, first we can take as a F tail and that all are used, so that is the same. So yes, here I can use so F uh, seek, and we can pass the three arguments. So first is a very simple file uh, pointer. Yes, so that is a we can pass file pointer, and then we can yes here we can pass as a like uh, we can move. So like we are student. So I print the V, yes, here we can calculate some. So like V, uh, yes, V are uh, students. So that time I can write and which, so start is zero. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, and then zero, uh, six. So here we can uh, use the like print IE. So that is a fifth position, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, I pass here five. So that is an offset in move forward and, and we can take as a um, current position. So current position is a beginning of the five or here pass as a one. So yes, and that also you can uh, print that all the things and then position and all that thing. Uh, let us take here we can students. So let us I run this file. And then we can copy this, all these things, or we can print as the same. I copy and paste after that F6. So that is a change. Yes, here 
and here that is the same. So we can use F6 and that is a one. So zero means beginning and one is a current position. So current position is a already we can print one character. So let us take what is the print value. So again, I give the we are uh, students. So that is a print as a E R V R E. Yes, let us take yes and control Z. So yes, uh, but I give the slash and so that taking the perfectly. So that position is perfectly print, but uh, let us take. So here we can. Yes, uh, first uh, here I provide the slash and so that taking the new line. Yes, and so here that character is a zero. So we are student. Yes, let us take we are students. Students. So let us recalculate. So zero one. So zero is already one, two, three, four, five. Yes, and here. So here we can. Yes, here pass as a four. Because already is the current position. Next is a one. So let us take and I remove this, and that we can print. Yes, same. So let us take. Okay. So now we can run again, and we can. We are students. Students. Yes, and that. So you can look. That is print as a e. For R A R E, yes, that is a perfectly now because we have to already take as a position uh, W. So after that is come in the uh, that index start with zero. So here we can pass as a four. So that is a offset value and that is a uh, we can say that position current position. So that we can pass and then we can yes a student. So yes, that how many characters we can supply. So we R and thus pass the student. So we can take as a just uh, S. So here we can pass as a current position. So let us like copy all these part, copy and paste. So here we can just move the six, I think, students, and uh, we can start as a beginning. So that is a we can pass as a zero. So let us, that is a, like we can, we are students. So yes, here we can say that zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven, yes, let us check seven. So S print for student. So I can save and compile. Yes, and uh, perfectly. Any problem? Let us check. Yes, now I can compile and again give so I can give same string so we can identify that our complete goal and control Z. So yes, that perfectly our requirement that take the position. So that S is in seven. So yes, that seven. So perfectly that is a we can take as a perfectly or random access file we can jump directly student e2 directly beginning so here first we can pass as a current position one and now here we can pass as a zero and now we can some backtrack and print as a a character so let us i copy all that part again and that position here we can pass student so let us first we can calculate paper work so are uh, students yes and here which backtrack so we can say that is a current position so current position is here yes so here we can pass as a one first yes and then we can here we print as a, a character so we can backtrack so minus so here that are so one two three and four so here we can pass as a minus four. So that is a current position and that minus backtracking. So our A character is a print. So let us take so that is a calculation and then we can print. So we are uh, students, yes, and control Z. So saving, yes, that R, yes. Uh, so yes, backtrack four character. 
So yes, we can change the front position. So yes, R. So yes, one yes minus five yes. So let us take because that is a in reverse order. So backtrack. So A character yes students so, yes and control Z yes now perfectly. So that is a third index yes that correctly minus backtracking position. So that is a random access. You can write this one file and print in the, that is a very important function we can use. So that is a very important function. And all that things we can take in the testing. And we can also take as a end of the file. Yes, so here I copy all the part and paste to here. So we can go in two pass and backtrack. So yes, let us take the R, um, students yes and that our current position is here so we can take as a back zero so at the end of five so one two three four five six seven eight nine yes so s s we have to already print so what is we have to print so yes, uh, I can pre-int as a U. Yes, let us take zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So minus, so that is a, we can backtrack seven and here pass two. So here first we can pass as a zero. So that is a beginning of file. That is a one. So current of the file and that end of the file. So backward. So that is also reading. So let us, we can save F2 and that compile again and then run again. So let us take. So I give the again same because we have to testing same string. You can uh, write other string also, no problem. So yes, that perfectly you. So that is a backtrack. So that is a position nine. And you, you students, STU, yes, that uh, perfectly. And then we can just use third our important function and that is a rewind. So all we can already end up the file because we can pass is a two and backwards. So that is a uh, U and now we can use as a rewind. So that is a taking beginning of the file and pass FP. And then just we can print all the things. Yes, no any chain. So I can not use uh, F6 again. So that is a W we can reach as a first position. So let us take R students. So control Z and yes, W. So we can after go all that moving here or there and then complete a rewind. So that is a beginning of the file. So that is a very important. We can use all three function and your first yes very simple way i can step by step that is a random access file and first we can use as a f6 yes so first we can print directly so first we can write yes i just summarize all these things what is done in this session so that is a text file and we can use as a random access file so your three important function f6 that is three argument a five pointer long offset value and position. So long offset value means bytes, long bytes we have to pass. Positive means above, go forward and negative means go backward. And then position, there are three positions. Zero means uh, that beginning one is a current of the position and two is the end of the file position. And then FT, so current position that give the, uh, that the position in, in long integer and we can also print that character and then rewind. That is a just uh, end of the file to uh, beginning of the file to rewind all that like the music we have to play one file. So that is a playback you have to know very well. So now here we can use as a character first uh, open uh, five pointer and character and long integer P and then write one file R file dot txt and then we can uh, some condition, yes, and you have to know very well all these things. We can write character, get character end of file, and control Z, we can save that end of file is good, and while loop is terminate, not equal to end of file. 
so then same file open for reading purpose and that same condition we can apply and now we can start as our random access file to reading reading some character and their position so first we can beginning of the file so we can w or any string i just testing we are student and then we can print as a uh, character uh, four position so we are so that is a we can print yes i just revise so means running so that is a yes for second so we can control z so we can say that here uh, now that is position is a i uh, dot provided so c w then e we have to print e five position seven s then backward t a 11 again e and then we can print as a w so that is a, all that things so yes now perfectly and that we can pass as a big current position so here uh, that directly take as a beginning first because that is more in the reading mode so that is beginning of the file pointer so we can print as a zero and w and then we can go backward and print as a uh, e that position of we have to pass as a four but uh, currently already in the one position zero so that move in the four byte so that is a fifth position so then ftl and we can print all these things then seven so we can print as our letter as a s to turn so seven that is a zero so beginning of five here we can pass as a current of five and here beginning same printing ftl we can use then F get C, we can here print the first position and then character, take F get C and then print and then backward. So current position we can take as a backward and then print all these things and that is a current position. So current position is a student and then we can print as a A character, the student after A. And then we can move as a seven backward character. So that is a, we can print as a, E again so that is a and then last we can rewind use here as a rewind function and then that is a first we can starting to take as a first year first character so again print as the same first w so that is a one we are student i testing all this uh, case as a we are student in one string so yes, that is three very important FTL that is give the current position and that we can print also that uh, character and rewind that beginning of position and F6 is a very important move forward, backward and there are three that is an offset value and here you can also write capital L. Yes, there is no in here. Just look because that is a long integer. So here you can also provide as a capital L. So there is no in error. So here we can pass l yes that long integer offset value so that is a long integer offset value bytes and then position there are three possibilities zero beginning of the position one is a current and two is a end of the five so i think you have to understand that is very important here are only one argument but here there are three arguments so now i complete all this part and write this program to your c notebook if you prepare random access file of the text and here we can use F6, FTL and rewind. So now I can close this file, alter F3 and uh, that window and quit. So subscribe my channel, Ashok C. Jalakadi, press the bell icon to never miss any update. Thanks for your watching, supporting and sharing my video lecture. And any doubt for this uh, definition, random access file of C file management, and text file we have to see. So you can write in comment section. I can def definitely give to you answer to you. So thanks again and Hare Krishna.